Alright, hey what's up guys, this is Julie here, it is Monday morning at about 9 o'clock and uh, I'm still in India and I'm about to do a test run of a co-hosted meditation with Nirav in uh, California, so let's see how this goes. Try to rotate the camera. Maybe I'll rotate it this way. This is a pretty cool project we're working on. Um, it's been a project that I, I've wanted to happen for quite some time. Let me see here, rotate it back this way. And I'm gonna change the camera view real quick. So you guys can look at the mountains while I sort this out. Oh, there you go. I see Nero's comments. Ah, oh, see, it says can't bring share on camera. They can't join your broadcast at this time. I wonder if it's my connection. What if you join from your phone, Nero? Yeah, let's try your phone and, and see what happens then. Or we may try to do it on the actual Rogue Yogi Facebook business page. I've been wanting to do a co-hosted guided meditation with Nira for about, oh, let's say more than nine months now before Yoe and I left for our travels and we had high speed internet and uh, we had sort of the technology but uh, it, it didn't pan out so now that Facebook is allowing co-hosted Facebook live broadcasts I just thought oh, I'll be so dope to do a co-hosted to do the project with uh, Nero now. And funny enough, the next morning after having that thought, Nero hits me up about the same thought. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I could bring share on camera. All right, inviting, I'm inviting Nero. This is an epic moment. This is connecting. Wow, oh, what's cool. up? What up, Nick? Hey, what's Nira? going on? Hello. <laughs> All right, I'm going to rotate and get the, this is the lower Himalayans or the Himal Himalaya. <laughs> nice. Looks very cool. Very bright. Yeah, it's it's 8 o'clock your time? 8, 8 p.m.? Uh, Close, 7.40, but yeah. Oh, okay. Lana just joined us too. Cool. Oh, this is so, awesome. Let's see. Yeah. Good. So it looks like tomorrow I'll have to join via the phone. I guess I can't do it through the laptop, which is good. Hey, Lana. Hey, Lana. Lana is one of our newest members of the Facebook group Rogue Yogis Run the World. So I'm pretty stoked, Nero. This. I, I don't know if I told you, but I literally had the the thought about us co-hosting this meditation like again when I was looking at these mountains behind me. And the next morning, you hit me up, and uh, <laughs> I was like, "Psychic." <laughs> yeah, so. seriously, 
that same universal page. So it's good. Things are, things are good. So for tomorrow, the plan is, um, what we're going to do is a guided meditation. It's going to be um, focusing on the breath. Um, so breath meditation, but then also when, to keep our mind not only concentrating on our bent, breath, we're going to also do um, light, like have a candlelight or, you know, a light meditation. So obviously um, the light can be metaphorical, something that lights up your heart, whether it's like the ocean, actually a literal candle flame or something that makes you really happy. And we're going to picture that and just focus ourselves and on our breath and bring ourselves to that one thought of light, which is going to light up our heart stuff. It'll be a um, pretty simple, basic meditation to start us off. And then the plan, um, the plan is maybe once every week um, to have these meditations recurring and then get more in depth and more, um, you know, more deeper into ourselves, whether it's chakra meditation, mantra meditation, or just um, some, some, uh, yeah, simple meditation to release uh, the craziness that goes on in our daily day to day lives. Uh, dope. Okay, so for anyone watching this as a replay later, uh, whether you're brand new to meditation, or you've been doing it for a while, you are all you're all welcome to join. Uh, this is for everyone and whether you know what a chakra is or a mantra or you have no idea what that is this is a nice introductory uh, series of meditations that we're gonna lead for you and i'm just so stoked that we can do this regardless of uh, what country we're in and really stoked to to be led by nirv so you'll get to see nirv's face and you'll get to see the scenery of Whatever country I'm in. So, um, yeah. hey, Nirav, do they do they need a meditation cushion? Like, should they be sitting on the floor? Or what can, what props can they use if they don't have meditation gear at the moment? Yeah. Oh, that's a great question. So, um, meditation is super simple. It's what you are most comfortable with. So, if you have, like, a, a pillow you can sit on, that's highly recommendable. Because you're going to be sitting in the, in the lotus position. And... Um, you want to protect your ankles and your uh, yeah your your sitting position so you can um, feel comfortable for a good thirty to forty five minutes um uh, because that's how long we're we're anticipating the first one to be um, and then I mean meditations go on and on so uh, the longer you do them the more calm you'll notice your brain and your day to day activities but yeah I I highly recommend at least a cushion and that's all you need if you have like grass you can sit on or um, a comfortable carpet that's more than more than enough but literally take yourself in consideration cons take your um what's it called your health into consider consideration so if you have a bad back definitely use back support like a wall or um even sitting in like a chair where you can still sit in the social lotus position but having that back support is um extremely important Cool. Okay, cool. So for those of you that don't know what lotus position is, it's also known as Padmasana. And it, it is, it can be a pretty difficult uh, position to sit in if you're very new or if you have bad, uh, stiff hips. So um, there's always an option to sit in a cross-legged seat um, to have your pillow be so a little bit higher so it elevates your elevates your uh, glutes so that way your knees can be sloped downward and that will we'll explain more about that tomorrow but just so you guys know you, yeah there, there's options for everyone so for sure yeah you yeah. can sit normal, normal cross-legged style or half half lotus or full lotus just depending on your what how comfortable you are right so cool. oh. i think it's gonna be really cool look really great and i like your hat too <laughs> it's is it uh, nice and it's cold. It's it's Today. cold. Yeah. So, funny story. My friends and I were hiking through. Uh, let, let me show you the mountains. We were hiking up this direction for about eighteen kilometers to head to an area called Musori, and it's just it was just mountain, just trails, just nature and wilderness, and then we end up on like a fire road, and and then. Shortly after, stumbling into United Colors of Benetton shop. 
<laughs> yeah, and there, there, there's all these mom and pop shops, and and they're selling like Himalayan socks and gloves, and then they're selling these these beanie caps for this is perfect. Gosh, like under two U.S. dollars. So, wow. <laughs> yeah. Can't so <laughs> can't avoid modernization, right? But yeah, so that that's the story. <laughs> that's good. Go All right, cool. Well, I'm stoked. This test looks like it's successful. And uh, thank you guys for all watching. And tune in at the same time tomorrow, the exact same time, or join in uh, whenever you get the time for the replay. Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow, to Nero. See you tomorrow, Lana. Yeah. See, you, see you, everybody. Right. Looking Bye. forward to this new search. It's going to be great. Take care.